Hey guys, welcome to another Model Kit Monday. Today we're taking a look at a model kit that I got. It's like a Gundam, but it's not. It's a little different. This is the high grade 124th scale Spherical Strike Mugen uh, Azumi Machizuki type. Machiz uh, Azumi Machizuki is one of the characters that pilots this uh, suit. And it's definitely an interesting looking kit um and i got a chance to take a look at the anime that this is based on and apparently there was a video game first but or i don't know which one came first the video game or the anime but it's definitely interesting let's get this guy over to the table crack it open take a look at what comes inside and i'll give you guys my opinion about it sit tight This is the high grade 124 scale spherical striker Mugen Azumi Muchizuki type. Uh, it says type, but it's, it's pretty much it, it's her it's her suit. Um, here's the box. It's pretty cool. Typical Bandai artwork poses. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm really curious to see if we get if we can get this thing in that pose because that's pretty dynamic. And from what I'm seeing, these things don't look very posable. But I could be completely wrong. We'll see. I feel mean, <laughs> like that's that's it right there. Um, there's a pilot. Uh, she's supposed to be some sort of ninja, right? Like that's <sighs> the show is like a. Um... <sighs> I don't know if I get this right, it's like a Super Sentai show, like kind of like the Power Rangers, you know, and, and the, those kinds of Sailor Moon. That's another good uh, Sentai team. You know, they don't have to necessarily be like a giant robot, but like, like these girls use robots. They use big steam power magic, steam magic powered sci-fi robots. From what I can tell. All right. This is a big kit, so there's going to be a lot of parts in here. All right, let's take a look at all these parts. All right, here's the instruction booklet. And there is some English. I don't know if you can see that, but you can probably pause that if you want to read that. Uh, it's probably about her and the association that they're with, the Sakura Wars thing. Here's their logo. Again, I'm not really familiar with it. I mean, I saw a couple episodes. I watched a couple episodes just to kind of, like, see what this is about. I really like the look of these suits, first of all. Way more than I like the original Sakura, Sakura Wars um, suits. The, the, the Sakura Wars suits look like uh, the original one looks like a uh, orc kill a can to me. <laughs> so I was never really impressed with it. Um, but these looked a little cooler to me. So and I, I like this one. I don't know why. But there we go. The standard Bandai pamphlet style instruction sheet. You do get a pilot figure. Uh, I've seen some people paint them. I've seen some people just kind of like not paint them. It's up to you. This is a pretty big one and it's pretty involved. So uh, there's and there's a lot of parts. So this is going to take some time to put together. Here is the A1 sprue. And you see it's got that like canary yellow. Looks like some of the feet and leg parts. Here's the A2 sprue. Um, I have no idea what this is. So, oh. Uh, mm, need some skirt armor. Maybe part of the, the engine. Like the machine in the back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Here's the A3 sprue, which seems to be like a part of the A1 sprue, or just a copy of part of the A1 sprue. So there's more feet, more leg parts. Here's the B1 and B2 sprue, I believe I want to say. Yeah, B2, when the B2 is just part of the B1. So here's some of the gold parts, which I like. I mean, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not a fan of this like poured 
injection molded gold. Like it's, it's eh. then again, I'm not a fan of the electroplate gold either. So, I mean, I guess this works. Um, but I feel like there's way too many gold stickers, which leads me to believe there's going to be a lot of color corrections, which I'm not a fan of. Here is the C1 and C2 sprue, and the C2 sprue is just a copy of part of the C1 sprue. And I'm not sure what this is. Uh, uh, this looks like the back of the engine here, like the turbine. Which again, I don't, <laughs> not 100% sure. Oh, there's some exhaust pipes. What this, what, what, what drives these machines? I mean, it's magic. It feels like it's magic and like steampunk. I don't know, like. There's some like high sci-fi stuff, but then there's some steampunk elements. You know, the clothing is very Victorian. It's really hard to get a feel on for me what this what this genre fits in. Here's the D1 and the D2 sprue, and the D2 sprue is basically just a small piece or copy of a piece of the D1 sprue. Um, joints. I don't know. It looks like shoulder joints. It looks like part of the face here, or the face shield. Here is the E sprue, and this looks like part of the canopy, like the inside canopy, the cockpit, uh, where the pilot sits. Uh, from what I can tell, I can't. Only for the look at the pictures on the side of the box, this looks like, yeah, yeah, it looks like part of a seat. And she sits inside there. And we only get like half a figure, so. Here is the F1 sprue, and this looks like it's more out of armor. Here's the F2 sprue, and I don't know what this is. Could be more parts of the torso. It looks like that, that's what it looks like to me, part of the torso. Here is the H sprue, and this is the multicolored sprue. So we've got some brown, some gray, some gold. This looks like the, in, the inlining of the inside of the head. Scarab for the, some kind of sword. There's the grill and the front plate for the, the face. There's, there's a little sword there. I didn't know this thing came with a sword. Oh, these look like the little claws for the shields, too. Maybe shoulders? I don't know. Well, we'll get it together and figure it out. Here's the I-1 sprue, and this is pretty much the shield and the top of the head. The shield is really cool. And <laughs> kind of why I picked it was this shield. I mean, I know it's like a claw shield or whatever it's supposed to be, but to me, <clears throat> with the little claws in the front, it kind of looks like a little Cthulhu face. You can call it Cthulhu. You'll see when you put it when we put it together. Here we have the I2 sprue, which is basically the pilot. A little flesh tone pilot. <clears throat> Not sure if I'm gonna paint it, but I might. Last sprue is the uh, PC sprue, the polycap sprue. Which is really small. There's not a lot of them. Which is kind of a plus, right? Like I guess if we're lucky that there's not a lot of this in there, so it's not a lot of uh, joints wearing out easily. All right, here we have the eye gem, which I think is really cool that they in they included that. Here we have a small set of water slide decals to come with the kit. All right, here we have the color correcting stickers. And like I said, there is a lot of them. You see all the different gold stickers. <sighs> I'm not going to use these. Um... I'm going to paint this thing. So this is going to be like, it's, I don't know. I'm just not going to use them. I, I don't, I don't even like the, the color of the gold isn't even close to the other color. So it's like, what's the point? All right. So there we go, man. And the, uh, soccer wars, spherical strike striker Mugen, Azumi Michizuki type. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna get this thing built and we're gonna take a look at it. Um, uh, sit tight, let's see what it looks like. All right, here we have the uh, Spherical Mugen or Striker Mugen, the um, Azumi Michuzuki. No, Michuzuki, sorry. Uh, this is her. Mugen. Um, the model to put in together wasn't that wasn't that complicated. It just had a lot of like there were a lot of parts that were just kind of like eh. 
and there's still there's some parts on here that aren't very solid <clears throat> you get two extra shoulder pads i'm not sure this is probably from one of the other kits you know this is just like parts on the sprue i mean it, it did come with a gold plating but <clears throat> as you can see oh it also came with one of those uh flight stand pegs but as you can see there's a lot of like i, I did some painting with some, with, it, with a sharpie because it's all i had at the time and i was just messing around with it because it's going to get this is going to get repainted but you see that there's a lot of there's gold trim on certain parts but then there's a lot that doesn't have any you know like i don't know i don't know if bandai maybe they should have just uh put none on there because i mean look at all these stickers these are all the gold trim stickers, and I don't, I don't, I do, I definitely don't want to use those at all. Um, like I said, I'm going to repaint it, and I think, and I can't take this off because it's all embossed and like sticking out. And it's the same thing for the rear. Like you see, the side skirt have it. <clears throat> the rear skirt has it. And there's a piece here, but then the fins in there, I, had, I used a gold sharpie because there wasn't, there was nothing in there. Um, some gold pieces here, but that's it. And then there's like a ton of, like all this should have gold trim, you know, but it doesn't. So, I mean, it's whatever I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to paint it anyway. I just feel like that's the corner they cut that they probably with these types, with this kit, they probably shouldn't have cut. There's the pilot. All I did honestly was just use a brown, uh, panel liner marker you know the gundam panel liner markers i just i just use a brown one I, like i said i didn't have much with me at the time i was actually in the hospital when i built this kit way back and i just i didn't have much with me so i just used what i had this is a pretty cool little weapon and the katana does come out um pretty small it's more like a tanto but I, I, I kind of want to paint that blade. I don't like I don't like it being gray like that. It does have the little gold trim around the handguard. <clears throat> but like you said, like I said, you can see where all the gold trim is missing. You know. I mean, it's a cool looking kit. Uh, being just stationary, like if you just have it posed, it's it's not bad. The legs are really short. They do bend the knees. You know, the ankles do have some kind of movement. Not much, though, you see. It, not much at all. And those legs are just chunky. So there's not a lot <laughs> you can do with it. And the arms move, you know, pretty normally. Got a little belt bend there. It doesn't even do a 90-degree bend. You can see that. Now, I don't know if that's it's probably the armor, but I don't know. I feel like they could have done a little bit. They could have done a little something to fix that problem. The hands... <clears throat> it's some really weird manipulators. They do open a little bit, just enough to hold the sword, you know, but that's about it. Like, it, it's not very poseable at all, in my opinion. I mean, it does move, but it doesn't make it very poseable. The shield is obviously the reason I got this thing. Uh, I do like it. It's got that Cthulhu looking head. <laughs> so, uh, I, that's why I grabbed this kit. I, I like the look of it. <clears throat> but all in all again it was a fun kit to, kit to build i don't think it was worth the price tag though like i don't think they're worth 50 dollars or, or more honestly i i really i i'm you know it, it's just my opinion but no i don't i definitely don't if unless you're a really big fan of this show you know what i'm saying like i got it because i was like oh, i want to try something different but <clears throat> definitely will not buy any more of these and I definitely will recommend, like, I will I will say I, I'm against anyone. If you're not sure, I'm, just don't waste your money on this. Get something else. Um, $50 can buy you a pretty good Gundam. You know what I mean? Like a pretty good high grade, maybe even a master grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you're better off spending your money somewhere else. And that's just my opinion. Again, I, you know, if you're a fan of them, you know, or if you just want one in your collection, you know, go for it. It's It's worth it. There's some other cool ones too. I was gonna 
It was really on the fence between this one and the one holding the book with the magic spells. Well, I thought that, I mean, it was cheesy, but I thought it was cool. I was like, she's got a book. That's pretty cool. There's other one with an umbrella, like with a Japanese umbrella or Chinese umbrella. And I was like, eh. <laughs> I was like, it's their weapon, but it's a gun. I was like, eh, this is really a weird show, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> like I said, if you're going to get one and you have to have just one, go for it. But if you don't have to spend the money on a master grade or a really good, a really, really good high grade. Or even a, like a, no, low P, P bandits are expensive. But anyway, like a high, a good high grade. You know what I'm saying? Like get yourself something like that. Like the, the uh, Hathaway's Flash Gundam kits are pretty cool, but they're pretty expensive. You know, something like that. <laughs> if you can find it, like Kshatriya, you know what I mean? Save it and just get one of those. Because she's, the, it for the price of Kshatriya, you get one of these guys. A little bit more than this guy, like maybe 10 bucks more. But you get a way more more kit, you know, and a better kit than this. So, there you go. That is the uh, Sakura Wars Spherical Striker Mugen. Uh, the Azumi Michuzuki, Michuzuki type. She's supposed to be like some kind of ninja, but whatever. I mean... I didn't, I didn't watch the show long enough. But there you, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, it's up to you, but mm, I'm going to say nay on these guys. I'm going to say nay. All right, guys. As always, um, like, subscribe, share, and thank you so much for watching.